Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the currently unreleased Vapid Dominator GTX. So as you can see from the interior of this vehicle, it is actually really well put together. It actually looks really, really cool. Um, I don't think they've actually used this interior on any other vehicle in the game. Uh, but just two minor um, discomforts, shall we say, I've got with this interior is... The rear parcel shelf, the textures on that are pretty dog shit and uh, very pixelated as you can see. And also the steering wheel, you kind of can't really see it from this angle, but it is cutting into Franklin's legs, which is obviously uh, very disappointing. You'd think that Rockstar would accommodate for that a little bit better. But other than that, it looks okay. It's pretty cool, man. So let's take the, a look on the outside of it, come out of first person. And as you can see, the outside of it looks really, really cool as well. It is very nicely put together. A uh, nice shape to it. Obviously, it is a take, or Rockstar's take on a Mustang. Um, again, I've got a, you know, a, a discrepancy about the rear headlights, the same as what I did have on the Dinka Jester Classic. The headlights just look lazy from Rockstar. They look flat. They look, uh, they just look poor, you know, really lazy, poor quality and it, I think it ruins the car somewhat you know you think that they've done an awesome job on everything else at, like stock wise and then you got these rear tail lights that just look lazy you know and it's, it is quite disappointing but overall the car from stock actually looks pretty cool and um, I'm overly happy with it so far so without any further ado guys let's get this into LS Customs and see what sort of customizations we can do so as you pull into LS Customs guys, you'll see the Vapid Dominator GTX is in the muscle category. And to start the build as always, we're going to go into the arm and purchase 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes and purchase the race brakes. For the front bumper, we got four additional options and they're all extenders. And that's, that is all they are. So we've got the primary, the secondary, the carbon and the sticker bomb. So um, that is very disappointing. Not my cup of tea at all because we've already got a splitter on there you know extended splitter as it is so why would you want to put an extension on an extension it just looks fucking spasticated in my opinion i don't really get it you know i think they've missed an opportunity with the customization so far with this vehicle especially on the front bumper so we're going to be staying stock for the front bumper we're going to go to the engine we've got the brace bar and um yeah it's not lifting the hood so we can't actually see what the brace bars look like but we're not going to go with a sticker bomb. We are just going to go with a GT strut brace. Why the fuck not? And then we're going to go to the engine tunes. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. Then we've got the exhausts. At the moment, the stock exhausts actually look quite nice. They're pretty beefy. But then we move over to the, the rally exhausts. And uh, they've, they've moved to central position. And uh, I actually like these. They actually look really nice. And all of them are central exhausts from now. The dual big bore exhausts are uh, probably my favorite so far they look quite smart and as you can hear i am revving the engine but that's only to get rid of the the fumes from the exhaust so we can actually see what they look like because as you can see we get all the fumes come out and then we can't fucking see what the exhausts actually look like so apologies for the the engine revs and then we've got these weird looking things that come out from the from either side and i think these look more like motorcycle exhausts and they look kind of weird especially on a car like this so i won't be going for any of them um, like I said, my favourite was these dual big boy exhausts, so we're just going to go with those bad boys. I don't want to exit yet? Fuck, man, what am I doing? Then we're going to go to the fenders. So we've got five additional options for fenders, which is pretty sweet. And maybe not so sweet as I thought. They look fucking pretty terrible. Yeah, they're not my sort of thing. Let's have a quick look at all. The so they're going to be all the same, just different colours in chrome, really. Chrome? Fuck me. And sticker bomb as well. Uh, yeah, they're not they're not my sort of thing. They look like they're not supposed to be there. It be they'd look a lot nicer if they actually fed into the rear bumper and the side skirt a little bit nicer. Whereas it just they just cut off dead. You know that's it. There's no blending or you know uh, molding into the existing panels of the car, and they just look out of place. And another <laughs> fucking disappointment is look how far the wheel is set back with these arches. You'd think that Rockstar would give the option or even manually, uh, not manually, automatically do it. So when you add the arch, the wheel just automatically comes out to meet the arch. Whereas they're set so far back, it just looks stupid. 
I mean, even as stock, they're still set quite far back. You know, they don't meet quite meet the the arches of the car. And then when you go down to the extensions, it's even worse. You know, it's like they're fucking hibernating. It's weird as fuck, and it is really disappointing that it doesn't automatically bring the wheel out a little bit, make the wheel a little bit wider. I mean, luckily enough, being on PC and the PC gamers are able to download and install vStancer so we can bring out the width of the wheels, give it a bit of camber, you know, this, that and the other. But for the console gamers, why would you want to purchase these body arches? Because it makes the wheels look fucking silly. And like I said, even as stock, the wheel is set a little bit too far back for my liking. Um, but yeah, it's not just how far the wheel is set back. I just think overall they just look ridiculous. They don't suit the car. They don't flow with the car. Uh, like I said, they don't mould into the rear or the side skirt of the car either. They just look out of place. So I'm definitely going to be saying stock for the fender. Then we're going to go to the grille. The stock grille is actually quite nice. And uh, as we move down, you can see that these ones, in my opinion, aren't as nice as the stock um, grille. Uh, the sports grill is actually quite cool. I don't mind the look of that one. The chrome version of it isn't that great. And then we move to these crazy bastards. And uh, <laughs> they look like they belong on like more of a, an SUV or some sort of pickup truck. They don't tend, I don't think they suit this uh, muscle car in any way, shape or form. Especially this one, man. That looks fucking crazy. And yeah, I don't think it suits this, this uh, muscle car at all. So my two favourites was the stock and also the sports grill but because i've stayed stock for quite a lot of this car already i am going to go with the sports grill so next we're going to move to the hood the stock hood is actually quite nice um but i am going to be changing it because i'm pretty sure there's nicer options available so we've got the stripped hood which is obviously like a clean cut version of it and then we've got the secondary color the carbon version of it and then the stick up on version of that as well the intake hood is actually really nice i'm digging that then the carbon version the bulk hood man that looks hot i love that and then the carbon version of the bulk hood or the bulk head sorry and then we've got the vented hood scoop man that looks mean at the minute it's between the vented hood scoop and the bulk head this one there we go they've got the bulk head and the vented hood uh are my two favorites so far and then we've got the carbon version of that as well and then the performance hood and the carbon version of the performance hood the rally spec man that looks pretty cool so there's some really nice options for the hood which is quite surprising considering that we didn't have a rear bumper option and very very limited options for the front bumper as well um, but we do get a shit ton of hood options which is quite nice and then you can see we've got the vanity hood there as well which shows off that beautiful looking engine um, I actually really like that one to be honest but then we've got this bad boy which looks fucking sweet as well then we've got the bulk head man there's a lot of um, choices here and I'm, I'm I'm struggling I don't know what one to go with 2000 years later one thing I'm surprised about this we don't get any big, big block options which is um, surprising especially for a muscle car but anyway enough of that we're going to go with a rally spec hood because we've been on the hood selection for quite some time now so we're going to move on to the lights now the headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights then we're going to go with ooh, mud guards vapid mud guards do we want mud guards they look quite cool yeah, I think we'll go with that as we've gone with a rally spec hood. I think the mudguards suit that quite nicely. So next we've got the rear panel. So maybe, oh, we can. It's not under, oh no, it's not. I thought it was going to change the bumper, but it's changing the lights around. So we can have it a carbon or blacked. We can have it secondary. Obviously stock is going to be the primary. So yeah, because of that, we are going to stay stock for the rear panel. Then we're going to go to the respray. We're going to go primary color and into metallic not really sure what color i'm going to go with this i think this car is going to be one of them cars that suits all colors um let's have a quick look at the ones at the bottom so white looks fucking awesome it looks really nice purple looks pretty sweet as well so we're going to be sport for choice for colors that's for sure so i have made my decision i am going to go with the ultra blue in metallic that looks fucking pretty sweet the pearlescent i might change and go with maybe a purple that might be pretty cool. So uh, if we go down to the purples. Oh, it doesn't really, <laughs> we don't really see much changing, to be honest. It just makes the blue a little bit darker, which is weird. You would thought that there'd be some sort of purple shine on there, but there isn't. Uh, but we can do cream, which lightens up quite, quite considerably, which is quite nice. We get a nice 
cream shine off that. So yeah, we could go with a cream for the pearlescent, but for the secondary color, we are also going to go into metallic and purchase ultra blue. And as you can see, when we change the secondary color, it does change the trim on the inside of the car, which is a nice touch. So we don't get a trim option for this. We just change the secondary color. It also changes the wing mirrors, but then in turn, it changes the trim inside of the car as well, which is nice. I like that as a touch. Then we're gonna to go to the roof. So we've got, wow, we've got quite a lot of options for the roof, man. So at the minute, we've got this indentation on the roof, which actually looks quite nice. I don't know why you'd really want to change it to a smooth hood, but you can if you'd like. Then we've got that in secondary, also in carbon, sticker bomb. Wow, they look pretty cool. The sports roof looks nice, man. I like that. If you want some more vents on your roof. <laughs> uh, the racing roof looks cool as well. Man, there's some really nice options for this vehicle in like the, the areas I wouldn't really thought, you know? We've got a really, a, we've, got, we've got an abundance of hood options and we've got an abundance of roof options. But in the way of bumpers, it is slack and obviously the arches is weird as well. But, you know, we've got some nice options on the roof and the hood, which is a, a nice change, you know, because we don't tend to get cars that do that. So we do get the Vortex generators, uh, which we don't tend to get on muscle cars, which is a nice change, I suppose. So there are some really nice options for the roof, like I said already. And I think my favorite was probably this racing roof. So we're going to go with that bad boy. Then we've got the skirts. Again, a lot of options for the skirts, which is cool, but we don't want an extended skirt like that. We kind of actually would probably stay with uh, the stock skirts is probably the best option because these drop down a little bit too far and they come down further than the rear and the front bumpers which is something we don't want and then they cover up our front mud guards as well which is obviously something we don't want and then we move on to a ram bar which is something we're not really accustomed to seeing on a muscle car but again a nice change it's a nice addition it's something different I want to change it because I want to, don't want to make it stock again. You know, another option is stock. But I think the stock version actually looks a little bit nicer. So I'm going to stay stock for the side skirt. Then we're going to go to the spoiler. So we've got the GT spoiler. Then we've got the secondary, obviously. Then the carbon, fuck me. And then we've got the sport spoiler. They actually look quite nice. I don't mind them. They look quite cool. They actually suit the car quite nicely. Which is um, surprising because Rockstar likes to putting spoilers on cars which don't suit like this fucking monstrosity what the hell is that that looks awful that looks fucking terrible this one is i know it's a drag spoiler but fuck me man that is massive and uh then we've got the dovetails at the top then we've got these suspended ones i don't really think that suits this sort of car really don't and then that's it. So my favorite was these ones, the sport spoiler. I think they actually look the best. All the others look a bit crazy and out of place. So yeah, we're gonna go with a sport spoiler. Then we've got the suspension. We're gonna go with a competition suspension, transmission. We're gonna get a race transmission and turbo tuning. For the wheels, guys, we're gonna go into wheel type and we're gonna go with some sport rims on this one. And if you don't know already, I do have a replacement mod in place uh, which changes the skins of my high end and my stock wheels so they're not going to look the same it's a real life skin so these are going to be real life wheels so they have got the rockstar names but they look a little bit different as you can see um i think the they actually look quite cool as well so there's loads of options i can choose from loads of different options and they're real life rims as well so they look a little bit nicer which obviously finishes off the, the look of the car a little bit better than what you do with a rockstar version of the wheels and if you want to go with a deep dish as well they look nice so i've made my decision i'm gonna go with these rims i'm not really sure what they're called in real life but on this they're called the mercy so we're gonna go with them bad boys for the wheel color we are going to change that from black to carbon black and the tires whilst we're here we're going to get the bulletproof tires and to finish off the build as always we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint so you go my dudes there is my build on the brand new currently unreleased dominator gtx and man, this looks fucking amazing. I'm really, really digging the way this looks. That looks awesome. So what we are going to do, we are going to go into my V-Stancer. And we are going to change the wheel set on this car. So we're going to go into the suspension menu. We're not going to change the camber just yet. We are going to change the width. Like I said, in NLS Customs, the wheel set is quite deep. Which we don't want. We want to bring that out a little bit. But we don't want to be catching that. Um, arch so that looks fucking pretty sweet then we're gonna go down to the rear one we're gonna do the same where we're gonna bring it out until not 
there we go so just just before the arch which is really cool we can do that and then obviously we can change the camber in as well if we are going to put a bit of a camber on this we could bring it in somewhat but then we can bring it out again like that nice loving that loving it so for the rear camber we are going oh wrong way we're going to bring it in again just a touch and then bring the width out like that now i think that looks a little bit nicer as well it looks fucking sweet man but a bit of a camber on there Bought the wheels out a little bit more, a little bit more than they should do. <laughs> so we're going to go to the tyres as well. We can go to just to the wheel size and just make them bigger if we want. But we don't want to make them any bigger than they already are because then obviously they start clipping through the arches as you can see. And turning is just going to look a little bit weird. But we can change the width of the wheels as well, which is sweet, uh, which we are going to do. So if we change the width, we might have to make this car a little bit higher because I do like the wheels to stick out somewhat but so we want that flush with them arches there we go that looks sweet yeah loving that man fucking loving it so there we go so that is the new Dominator GTX man this has got some wheel spin to it it sounds fucking awesome as well man really nice sound to it and it actually looks really cool, man. I'm fucking loving the way it looks. Um, but obviously this is unreleased, so there's no official speed testing done on it so, um, so far. Um, but when it does come out, check out Bruffy. He will uh, he'll hook you up with the with the up to date speeding, speeding, the up to date speeding, uh, the up to date speed tests on these vehicles. And um, whoa! But as you can see, man, this car is actually pretty quick. I reckon it's going to be on par, if not a little bit better than the original. Dominator, I can't see it being, you know, crazy speeds or much, much better than the Dominator or the original Dominator. Um, but it sounds amazing. I think I've put a different sound in for this. It kind of sounds like a, the original Dominator, but a little bit nicer, if that's possible. And the acceleration is a lot better than the original Dominator as well. But top speed and ex and handling wise, is hard to tell. But it is very, very um, good. It feels nice. It feels like it can handle quite nicely. So if we just swing it around this corner, wow, the steering is very, very responsive. But it doesn't want to spin out. And you can see the acceleration around that bend was really good as well. Whee, there we go. So yeah, I'm really impressed with this car actually. I think I will be purchasing it when it does get released on, in online. And um, I don't think you'll be disappointed with it, to be honest. I'm not sure how much it is gonna cost. Um, because obviously it is unreleased and I'm not 100% sure but I don't think it's going to be over a million uh, which is obviously a bonus because you don't want to be spending a shit ton of money on a muscle car but this type of vehicle it might rival the top muscle car in the game uh, which would be nice because um, it's about time we had a new fastest muscle car in the game but like I said man this is a really good car um, pretty good customization uh, very good speed very good handling and uh, I highly recommend it when it does get released. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy, if you did, please hit that motherfucking like button. And if you haven't already, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.